Ernie turns on the police scanner, informing Bert that masturbating to passing children in the window is against the law. Bert tells Bort that his name is short for abortion and he is a living joke. Bort doesn't understand and shouts in an autistic fit of rage. Bert is shocked to see Ernie on the other side of the glory hole. After making sure he is alone, Ernie slides Grover's body into the incinerator. At that moment, Bert noticed Ernie had pissed all over the floor, much to Bert's dismay. Bert was not joking when he told Ernie he was going to literally hit him with a fucking piano if he woke him up for some menial bullshit one more time. Ernie is shocked at the street price of crack these days. Elmo hates what Elmo is about to do, but Elmo has to feed Elmo's bloodlust. After downing a 12-pack of beer, Big Bird stumbles on camera and proceeds to rant about the government's lies. SS Hunter Sturmfuhrer Elmo and SS Hope Sturmfuhrer Grover arrests Mr. Johnson for hiding Jews. Ernie enjoys finding new ways to trigger Bert's Vietnam flashbacks. Ernie shows Bert how he could look if he chooses a career as an Islamistic preacher of hatred. Bert and Ernie agree to drown their mentally retarded son, Bort. Dr. Honeydew tests out his new gas chamber on Kermit the Frogestine. Grover pretends not to hear Mr. Johnson masturbating. As he watches for JFK's motorcade to round the corner, Elmo prepares to make his mark on history. Ernie noticed how wet and gentle the baby was while sucking on the bottle tip. This gave him an idea. Elmo steals the mic away from Kermit and yells fuck her right in the pussy on live television. Ernie considers ejaculating into the ashes of Bert's dead mother. Hearing a knock from the basement, Bert realizes that two shots wasn't enough to kill him. You should only dig up freshly made graves. The soil is still loose, which makes exhuming the body a lot easier. The less you have to dig, the more time you have to fuck. As Bert endures another night of stale, passionless sex, he dwells on all the mistakes he made in his life that led to this moment. Ernie teaches Cookie Monster how to remotely detonate a bomb with a telephone. Ernie cracks the ally cipher, shifting the tide of the war. Nothing gets Bert and Ernie's dicks harder than a rag soaked in liquid methamphetamine. Ernie exclaims loudly Allahu Akbar. As Bert banks towards the city's airspace, Ernie explains that dinosaurs are lies perpetuated by the enemies of Christ. At first he thought Grover was crazy. But as Grover's lecture went on, Bert steadily came to realize that the Holocaust really didn't happen. Like the faded uniform without, the man within had been racked by denial and dementia. But tender moments like these gave Ernie a flash of the SS officer he fell in love with. Ernie enjoys Bert's resistance as he fulfills his country girl rape fantasy. Grover runs away after exposing himself to a little girl. Ernie has more drugs than Bert. Bert is pissed. Bert and Ernie undercut the current Apple market value, forcing their competitors' families into poverty. Strung out on synthetic marijuana, Telly attacked Elmo and started eating him alive. Bert and Ernie deliberately ignore the woman, appalled that one of those people would dare approach them on the street. Satan personally congratulates Ernie for committing every sin possible. Gee Bert, does this rag smell like chloroform to you? After years of concussions Ernie can't take it anymore. He pleads with Bert to shoot him in the chest so that his brain can be studied by scientists.